Hello everyone, it's Ryan Purple Smoother back with another review video. Haven't done one of these in a while, but Animal Well just released the first game published by Big Mode Studios, also known as Video Game Donkey's Game Studio, and as a longtime fan of his, I felt it right to give some thoughts on the game. If you clicked on this video just to find out if the game is worth buying, yes, stop watching this video and play it. If you want a slightly more detailed review of my personal opinions, stick around. The game has been compared to a combination of Hollow Knight and Rain World, and while it is indeed a metroidvania with an aesthetic somewhat similar to Rain World, I don't think it plays the same as either of these games. You lack the combat options of Hollow Knight, and I don't believe this game is nearly as difficult or punishing as Rain World. Animal Well is an entirely unique experience, and I believe it should be thought of as such. Much of the selling point of Animal Well is the dark world it has that somehow manages to feel calming, and how the gameplay revolves around these abilities that combine to give a unique kit unlike any other game I've personally played. The satisfaction I felt from overcoming puzzles in each room, and the overall platform movement is something I haven't felt since my first time playing Celeste. As a person who doesn't play all that many metroidvanias, and finds the genre tiring at times, backtracking in this game felt less of a chore and more of a kid getting some free time out on the playground. Remembering a key destination that now opened up with the newfound ability would quickly fall out of interest as each room you'd repass through would suddenly have a dozen new hidden secrets that need discovering. Sometimes with metroidvanias, the player can get lost and lose momentum while playing. Animal Well never had these moments, always pushing the player to something that progresses them through the game, regardless if it was truly their goal. The base game is relatively short, with being able to be beaten in just under 5 hours without rushing. In 10 hours, I've personally managed to find half the collectibles, but still have a lot of unanswered questions. For an initial price of $25, I can understand some people's concern for a 5 hour experience, especially compared to other games in the genre. I think this game would still be worth it, however, if that was entirely it. But it's clear this game has exponentially more to find underneath the surface outside of an any percent run through of the game that I think will keep players playing for dozens of more hours. Animal Well is already on track to become a huge success, and I am super excited to see what else will be published by Big Mode in the future, as Donkey managed to find and uplift an extremely fun game at his first go around. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you end up buying and playing the game, let me know if you enjoyed it as much as I did.